Hello everyone, welcome to lecture on microprocessor systems and interfacing. Uh, my name is Dr. Vilayat Khan. I am an assistant professor at Concerts University, Islamabad, Wa Campus. The topics uh, uh, that I am going to discuss in this lecture uh, are hardware specification and in particular uh, fin configuration or hardware specification of uh, 8086 and 8088 microprocessors. These two are uh, uh, the family members of Intel family of microprocessors. Uh, the topics, uh, the slides uh, that have been included uh, in this uh, lecture uh, have been edited from the two sources given here. Uh, and uh, Intel microprocessor has a number of functional blocks. Uh, and a, the typical, a typical microprocessor includes these uh, functional blocks. Uh, the first block that is a computational unit. Uh, this unit performs arithmetic and logic operations uh, as the name uh, specifies it's an arithmetic and logic unit. So this unit is responsible to uh, perform arithmetic and logic uh, instructions on data. And then there are uh, there is a, a register normally a called flag register, and in the later microprocessor it is e flags. Uh, this register uh, contains various conditions uh, of the results, uh, and they are stored as uh, bits called flags uh, in this flag register. So whenever uh, arithmetic and logic operations are performed, the the status uh, after uh, those arithmetic and logic operations uh, is stored uh, in the form of bits called flag bits in this register. Uh, there is uh, an array of uh, register or internal memory uh, and uh, these registers uh, vary uh, in number and sizes from microprocessor to uh, other microprocessor. So uh, this provides uh, as internal storage of data whenever the microprocessor needs to perform logic in uh, uh, arithmetic and logic operations on data this data should be uh, brought inside the microprocessor and be stored in these registers and then uh, the arithmetic and logic unit performs operation on this data and the result is stored back into uh, either of these registers and then maybe back to uh, memory uh, to address or to access uh, the next instruction for the execution, uh, microprocessor also has uh, a program counter or instruction pointer registers. Uh, this register, uh, instruction pointer register, is responsible to uh, store the offset address of the next instruction to be executed. So when microprocessor is currently uh, executing an instruction, uh, this register uh, points to the next instruction that would be executed up to the current one. So this uh, uh, register basically stores the offset address uh, of the instruction. So this is then added with the segment uh, starting segment uh, address uh, taken from this either of the segment register and then a physical or mem memory address is uh, computed. Uh, when a microprocessor executes an instruction, uh, after fetching that instruction, uh, that instruction is then uh, decoded uh, and this decoded unit uh, interprets the operation of that uh, instruction and then it generates some uh, information and that is uh, sent to the timing and control unit. Timing and control unit uh, generates control signals uh, for internal and external operations uh, of the microprocessor. So when an instruction is uh, executed, uh, the operation code of that instruction uh, determines a number of control signals and those control signals are responsible to uh, control a number of other units uh, or functional blocks of the microprocessor. An 8086 microprocessor uh, is normally uh, packaged in dual inline packaging where the microprocessor has uh, 40 pins and 20 pins are uh, arranged on the left hand side of the microprocessor and 
20 fins uh, are arranged on the right hand side of the microprocessor. So these fins are numbered from 1 to uh, 20 on the left side and then from 21 till 40 uh, are on the right side of the microprocessor. And uh, uh, each of the pen uh, has a specific function or fun set of functions. Some pens has uh, one function and some pen uh, have more than one function. Uh, a microprocessor uh, 8086 or 8088 microprocessor can operate in uh, two modes. Uh, one mode is called the maximum mode and the other is called the minimum mode. Uh, the major difference uh, in terms of the microprocessor pens uh, is that some of the pens uh, work differently when the microprocessor is operating in the minimum mode and differently when it is operating in the maximum mode. So, uh, for example, uh, the pens uh, starting from 24 to 31 have different functions when uh, the microprocessor is operating in one of the modes. Uh, in the maximum mode, uh, these fins uh, starting from pin 24 till uh, 31 has uh, uh, this uh, function, these functions uh, and uh, when the microprocessor is operating in the minimum mode, uh, these fins, fins 24 till, till 31 has uh, these functions and each of these functions would be uh, expl explained later on. Uh, and all of the rest of fins uh, are common in both the modes, uh, in both modes, and they have uh, either one, each of the fin has either one uh, function or it has more than one function. Okay, so uh, in 8086 microprocessor, uh, uh, these are the common pins uh, used in both uh, of the modes, uh, in the minimum mode and in the uh, maximum mode. Uh, up, uh, operation and 8086 uh, fan 2 till uh, fan 16 and then uh, fan 39 these are uh, bi-directional fans uh, designated with AD0 till AD15 AD0 is here and then uh, till AD14 on, are on the left side and then AD15 is here which is fan 39 so these uh, 16 are bi-directional fans used for uh, transferring or sending or receiving uh, address and data and these pins are externally connected with the address and data bus uh, of the computer system. Uh, uh, these 16 pins provides the low order address uh, bus. Uh, these are multiplexed with the data uh, so these pins are used for two purposes. Uh, these pins are, are, are used to uh, send uh, address uh, uh, the memory location or address of the input and output port and this pin can also be used for uh, sending 16-bit data uh, on the data bus or receiving 16-bit data uh, using the data bus. Uh, when uh, AD uh, lines are used to transmit memory address, the symbol A is normally used instead of AD. AD means that the, uh, these pins are multiplexed for address and data but when uh, the pins are used only for uh, address then it is designated with A uh, for example a 0 till 15 so these uh, pins then represent uh, our transmit or is transmit 16-bit address um, which is connected to the external 16-bit address bus. Uh, so the address bus is not 16-bit uh, it is normally 20-bit uh, for, for the 086 microprocessor but uh, the 16-bit update uh, address is uh, provided through these 16 pins designated with A0 till A15. Uh, when uh, these pins are used to transmit data uh, or AD lines, uh, the symbol D is used to uh, in place of AD. AD means uh, address and data, while D just means data. Uh, for example, D0 uh, till D7, D8 till 15, or D0 uh, till D15. So uh, D0 uh, till D7 is used, then this would mean that the uh, least significant 8 bits of data and if D8 till D15 is used, then this would mean that the uh, most significant 8 bits of data and when D0 till D15 is used, this means that 2 words of data or 16 bit of data. Um, 
uh, these multiplex pins uh, are demultiplexed using the address latch enable pin which is one of the microprocessor pin here pin number 25 so uh, the main reason that why are uh, uh, the main benefit of multiplexing uh, uh, pins on the microprocessor is that it reduces uh, the number of pins on the microprocessor if these pins were not uh, be multiplexed then we would need additional 16 bit 16 pins for the data uh, if these fins would be used for uh, address, then we would need additional 16 bit uh, fins, 16 fins for the uh, the data only. Uh, so uh, multiplexing uh, fins uh, have advantages. It reduces the number of fins on the microprocessor. So uh, these uh, 16 bits which are highlighted in the diagram are uh, multiplexed and they're uh, they're used for. Uh, data and they are also used for uh, address but remember that when uh, at exactly one time uh, these pins are either used for the address or data and uh, uh, the next time they may be used for the other purpose mm -hmm. so if it is uh, if for example when the uh, memory location is being addressed these pins might be used for sending the address and when the memory location is uh, addressed the data may be read th through these pins up to the after sending the address uh, through these pins. Uh, the rest of uh, four bits of the address uh, are provided through uh, pins 35 till pins uh, 38. So these uh, four pins uh, are addressed, uh, are multiplexed uh, for uh, address as well as for status. So in this diagram, there is a, a, a typo. Uh, uh, this D should not be here. So this, uh, these four fins are used for uh, sending uh, the address uh, bits A16, A17, A18, and A19, as well as these four fins may be used uh, for the status uh, uh, to represent the status. So higher order uh, address bus. So these four uh, fins. Uh, stores or um, sorry uh, transmits or uh, used for transferring or sending the higher order address bus the four bits on the address bus uh, these are multiplexed with uh, status signals uh, together with these four uh, address uh, bits uh, and the other uh, multiplexed 16-bit address uh, bits uh, this becomes 20-bit address. So whenever the microprocessor needs to send a 20-bit address, the 16-bit uh, address of the 20-bit address is sent through 20 fins from uh, uh, fin 2 to fin uh, 16 and then fin 39. And the rest of four bits are sent through these uh, four fins. While uh, these four fins are also multiplex, they are used for uh, two different purposes. Uh, these four pins either are used to send four bits of the address and these four pins can also be used to send status signals. Uh, the status fence S7, uh, uh, which is uh, not here, uh, it is here, uh, is always, uh, sorry, it is uh, status pin uh, S6. This is also a typo. This should be S6. So the status uh, fin uh, S6 is always logic 0. Uh, this fin, this fin, fin number 39 is always logic 0 whenever this is used for status uh, signal. S5 indicates condition of interrupt flag. So whatever the value of interrupt flag that is shown here. While the rest of uh, two status fins, S3 uh, and S4, uh, identify the current segment. Uh, so they are decoded. Uh, uh, a using uh, the two values are decoded and it has four possibilities so uh, each possibility is uh, showing either of the segment so it uh, tells what the segment that is currently being accessed uh, okay so this is uh, these four fins are uh, multiplexed and uh, they are used for two different purposes either to provide the four upper bits of the address or these are used to uh, send the status signals. Uh, the, uh, the pen 34 uh, is also multiplexed. Uh, 
uh, one purpose of this signal is uh, bus uh, this fin is bus high enable which is active low and the second purpose is uh, uh, to send the status signal which is s7 uh, it is sent uh, as it is an output signal s7 so the bus high enable uh, is used to enable the data uh, onto the most significant half of the data bus is uh, uh, the D8 and D15 of the data bus are enabled. 8-bit uh, device connected to the upper half of the data bus use uh, bus high enable, uh, which is active low. So whenever the high part of the data bus is needed to be enabled, uh, this bus high enable uh, uh, fin is used to send zero. Uh, it is multiplexed with the status signal S7, and S status signal S7 is always logic one. Uh, so bus high enable has uh, a very significant role uh, whenever uh, the 8 bit or the upper 8 uh, bits of the data bus needs to be enabled. For example, whenever an 8 bit device is connected to the upper half of the data bus, uh, then it uh, uses bus high enable active low signal uh, to activate that high part of the data bus. Uh, Pin 33 of the Intel microprocessor 8086 uh, uh, is very important. Pin, this pin uh, uh, is used to enable or to choose the minimum mode or the maximum mode of the microprocessor. Uh, the pin signal indicates that the mode, what mode the processor is to operate in. When minimum mode, maximum mode is uh, uh, set to 1, or it receives one, the minimum mode is selected, otherwise the maximum mode is uh, selected. So this pin uh, uh, MN is active high, so when uh, one is received through this pin, the minimum mode is selected, and when zero is received, the maximum mode, which MX means, um, MX uh, bar means that uh, whenever a zero is re uh, received, the maximum mode of the microprocessor is uh, selected. Uh, pin 32 is uh, a control signal, read control signal. It's active low, so whenever a zero is sent through this pin, uh, the read operation is performed. So the signal, this signal is used for read operation. It is an output signal. It is an active uh, low. Uh, it is active when it is low. That means it, when it is zero, uh, the read operation uh, would be performed. Uh, test is uh, active low uh, input and uh, this uh, test input is tested by the wait instruction so 8086 uh, will enter into a wait state after execution of the wait instruction and will resume resume execution only when the test is made low by an active hardware interrupt for example uh, when an interrupt is received uh, uh, then uh, uh, it will exit from the wait uh, state and will resume execution. Uh, in the later microprocessor, uh, uh, there is a, a different pin instead of test. Uh, so in the earlier microprocessor 8086 and 8088 microprocessor, uh, there is a test uh, uh, pin. Uh, ready is an input pin. It is used to insert wait state into the timing of the microprocessor. Uh, if it is logic one, uh, then the microprocessor enters into uh, wait state and remains idle and does nothing. Uh, this is the acknowledgement uh, from the slow devices or memory uh, that they have completed the data transfer operation. Uh, the signal uh, made available by the device is uh, synchronized by the 8284A clock generator uh, to provide ready input to the 8086 uh, microprocessor. Uh, this signal is active high. That means that uh, uh, the wait state is inserted uh, when uh, a one is received through uh, this fin. Uh, the last fin on the right side, uh, fin 21, is reset. Uh, this fin is also active high, so it causes the microprocessor to uh, immediately uh, terminate uh, its present activity. Uh, the signal must be active high for at least four clock cycles to get into uh, the reset state. 
the reset state means that the microprocessor uh, terminates its present uh, activity. For example, if it is executing uh, any uh, instruction or program, uh, it terminates the execution of that uh, program. A ground uh, is simply uh, just to uh, uh, is connected to the ground uh, voltage zero. Uh, clock is a very important uh, uh, pin of the microprocessor. It is an input pin. Uh, the clock input uh, provides the basic timing uh, for the microprocessor, uh, for the microprocessor operation in bus control activity. So all the activities inside the microprocessor are uh, synchronized uh, with this uh, clock signal and which is received through uh, uh, this input pin. It's an asymmetric square wheel. With the 33% duty cycle, that means that the signal is uh, high for one third of the time, while it is uh, low for the two two third of the time or two third of the duration. Interrupt uh, request. It's fin 18. This fin of the microprocessor is used to uh, uh, receive uh, hardware interrupts. So interrupt request is used to uh, request uh, a hardware interrupt. For example, whenever a hardware needs to interrupt the normal execution of the microprocessor, it send, sends an interrupt or a logic one uh, through this fin. So this fin is used to uh, receive uh, interrupt request from the uh, hardware components. For example, if a printer is connected with the microprocessor and the printer is assigned to uh, print a job, after the execution of the uh, or the completion of the task by the printer, it uh, sends an interrupt uh, to microprocessor that the printing job has been completed. Uh, this is a triggered input, so whenever um, a logic one is received, the, it triggers something. It is sampled during the last clock cycles of each instruction to determine the availability of the request. So whenever microprocessor um, executes a, an instruction at the end of execution of each instruction this uh, interrupt uh, fin is uh, checked and if there is any interrupt uh, arrived uh, a, a specific uh, interrupt service routine uh, which is uh, as a routine a part of the or set of instructions that are executed uh, to respond to the interrupt request if any interrupt request uh, is pending the processor enters the interrupt acknowledge cycle for example when the interrupt request arrives the microprocessor will respond uh, to that interrupt through interrupt acknowledge pin which is pin number 24 and uh, the microprocessor enters into an interrupt acknowledge cycle uh, and during this period the microprocessor is responding or handing the interrupt uh, that was received uh, nmi is also an interrupt but this is non-maskable interrupt uh, that means that uh, these two are the two hardware interrupt pins uh, but the difference between the two is that interrupt request uh, pin can be disabled uh, using the uh, clear interrupt uh, and assembly language instruction to clear the interrupt flag in the flag register and when interrupts are disabled uh, any interrupt that, uh, that, is, that is received through the interrupt request pin or pin number 18 is ignored and does nothing the microprocessor does nothing but uh, nmi is the fin uh, through which the microprocessor can also receive interrupts uh, but these interrupts cannot be disabled uh, so uh, nmi cannot be controlled with the interrupt flag while interrupt request pin uh, can be disabled uh, through the interrupt flag uh, fin interrupt flag uh, in the flag register a vcc is just connected to uh, plus five voltage Okay, so uh, more about uh, fins of the mm, microprocessor used in the uh, uh, manual mode and maximum mode. So the 8086 microprocessor uh, can work in two modes of operations. Uh, one is called the minimum mode of operation and the other is the maximum mode of operation. Uh, in the minimum mode of operation, the microprocessor uh, 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 doesn't associate with any a coprocessor and cannot be used with uh, for multiprocessor systems. Uh, a coprocessor is, is a photo processor that, uh, in addition to this uh, major microprocessor, it also executes programs. 
Uh, so this is a multi-processor environment. In the minimum mode, uh, it is not associated with any uh, additional coprocessor, and instead, uh, only the main microprocessor uh, is executing program. So uh, these highlighted pins are uh, then performed as uh, the name uh, specifies. Uh, so these pins are used for um, used as minimum mode pins. In the maximum mode. The 8086 can work in a multi-processor uh, environment or co-processor configuration uh, where the microprocessor can be connected with a coprocessor that together also executes instructions. Uh, minimum or maximum mode operations are decided by the pen uh, MN and MX. Uh, this MX is active low. So whenever uh, uh, minimum maximum pen uh, receives and when the minimum mode is uh, selected, when minimum M and MX fan receives zero, the maximum mode is selected. Uh, this minimum maximum mode pin is pin number 33. When this pin is high, 8086 operates in the minimum mode, uh, otherwise it operates in the maximum mode. Okay, so I just talked about these uh, points. Okay, so uh, minimum mode signals are highlighted in the figure. Uh, for minimum mode, uh, pin 31, uh, pin 24 till pin 31. Uh, these pins are uh, the minimum mode pins, and the same pins will have different function when the microprocessor is operating in the maximum mode. So for minimum mode operation, the MN maximum pin is uh, tied to VCC, that is uh, logic high. So uh, minimum mode would be selected because this is uh, active high. Uh, and the ma maximum mode is selected when uh, a, a zero is provided when the pin is connected to ground. 8086 itself generates all the bus control signals, so, uh, so control signals uh, which controls the bus uh, and other components are uh, generated by the 8086 microprocessor itself. While in the 80 in while when the microprocessor is operating in the maximum mode. There is a, a controller that generates the control signals. So in this mode, when the microprocessor is operating in the minimum mode, uh, and these pins, pin 24 to tell 31, uh, has different function and uh, they are uh, labeled here. So pin 27 is uh, data transmit and receive. Uh, so when uh, uh, DT, when this pin uh, uh, sends a one then that means that indicates that the data is being transmitted and when the spin uh, sends a zero that means that the data is being received so dtr prime means data transmit receive so output signal from the processor to control the direction of data flow uh, through the data transceivers we will see later on that there are data transceivers connected to the microprocessor and those data transceivers can uh, control the direction of the data flow whether it is towards the microprocessor or with, whether it is away from the microprocessor. And those transceivers can be um, controlled using this pin. The next pin is the data address enable pin, which is pin 26. DEN means data address enable pin. And uh, so this uh, pin is an output signal uh, from the processor. Uh, it is used as an output enable for the transceivers. So whenever the data uh, bus is to be uh, enabled or the pins, the multiplexed pins, uh, address and data are multiplexed pins are to be uh, used for the um, uh, address, then this pin is used. And this pin uh, is also used uh, to enable uh, or control the transceivers connected to the, uh, to the bus or to the microprocessor. So those transceivers are um, different transceivers are used to uh, buffer the signals going out from the microprocessor and also to control the direction uh, of the data and also to demultiplex uh, address and data multiplexed pins. Address list enable uh, this pin 25 uh, is used to demultiplex the address and data lines using external latches. So address latch enable uh, would enable uh, an latch uh, that uh, is used to demultiplex um, the address and data lines and to create uh, the address. 
so that uh, external latch is then uh, controlled uh, through this pin which is connected uh, taken out from the microprocessor and is connected to the external latches uh, this pin pin 28 is responsible to uh, for the memory uh, read or write or for the external input and output devices read or write operation so m means memory and io means uh, input and output uh, devices so when um, m is active uh, high so when a one is sent through this pin uh, that means that uh, the memory is being accessed and when a zero is sent through this pin that means that the input and output devices are accessed so this pin is used to differentiate memory access and input and output access for memory reference uh, instruction uh, all those instructions which are uh, accessing the memory locations uh, this pin is high and for input and output instructions uh, this pin is uh, low and uh, the pin 29 is the right pin uh, this is a control signal for the right operation it is active low so right control signal uh, it is asserted low when our uh, processor uh, wants to write data uh, to the memory or to the input and output port so in the right operation the data inside uh, the microprocessor uh, is going out through the uh, uh, address data multiplexed bus and uh, the data is written to the memory location or it is written to the input and output port <coughs> interrupt acknowledge uh, this pin uh, pin 24 is uh, active low pin interrupt acknowledge uh, when the interrupt request is accepted by the processor the output is low on this line to acknowledge that the interrupt uh, that the microprocessor has entered into the interrupt acknowledge cycle so microprocessor receives uh, int hardware interrupts through the interrupt request pin or through the nmi pin and whenever the microprocessor is listening to the external interrupts and that interrupt is um, uh, received uh, then if the microprocessor uh, 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 enters into an interrupt acknowledge cycle to uh, address or to respond to that interrupt uh, this is acknowledged uh, through this interrupt acknowledge pen when a zero is sent through this uh, pen that means the microprocessor has entered the interrupt acknowledge or interrupt uh, um, handling uh, um, status so the microprocessor is uh, responding or handling the interrupt received hold uh, is pen 31 uh, this is an input signal to the processor from the bus masters uh, as a request to grant the control of the bus so whenever the bus master needs uh, to uh, gain the uh, control of the bus uh, it sends a request uh, for the bus uh, through this pen uh, this is normally used uh, by the uh, direct memory access controller to get the control of the bus so whenever the uh, direct memory access controller uh, needs to transfer uh, uh, mem data uh, with the bypassing the microprocessor uh, are to access memory without uh, passing the microprocessor that is called direct memory access for this purpose a direct memory access uh, controller is used and whenever the direct memory access controller uh, needs uh, to control the bus uh, the bus master uh, then sends uh, a request to the microprocessor to gain uh, to get the control of the bus uh, it, requ it is requesting through this pen to uh, get the control of the bus and uh, when the microprocessor is uh, um, uh, microprocessor receives a request for the grant of the bus uh, and when it uh, it is willing or when it, uh, it uh, gives the control of the bus then it is acknowledged through this pen acknowledge signal uh, by the processor to bus master requesting the control of the bus through hold so uh, it acknowledges that the request has been received and the acknowledge is asserted high when uh, the processor accepts hold so this uh, mm, pen is uh, uh, set high when the processor uh, mm, accepts the hold or the request for the bus control uh, the other fence when the microprocessor is uh, executing or uh, operating in the 
maximum mode the same pins uh, are used for different purposes uh, so uh, the three pins called the status uh, pins uh, s0 s1 and s2 these are the status signals uh, these signals are, are used by the 8086 bus controller uh, to generate the bus timing and control signals. So in the minimum mode, uh, microprocessor is generating all the control signals uh, in itself. But when the microprocessor is operating in the maximum mode, these status signals are uh, connected to with the bus controller to generate bus timing and control signals. And uh, these signals uh, are decoded according to the table here. So um, there are eight possibilities in eight types of control signals are generated uh, by the bus controller. Uh, these two uh, output pins are, uh, are representing or it, these pins indicates the status of the internal key. Uh, Q0, uh, QS0 and QS1, these are the two key status uh, pins. The processor provides the status uh, up key in these lines. The key status can be used by external device uh, to track the internal status of the key inside the 8086 microprocessor. Uh, the output on uh, QS0 and QS1 can be interpreted as shown in the table. So there are two possibilities and each of the possibility uh, indicates a different status of the uh, key. Uh, these two pins are used to uh, request uh, uh, the bus. Uh, these requests are used uh, by other local bus masters to force the processor uh, to release the local bus at the end of the processor current bus cycle. So uh, the bus masters uh, uh, are requesting the microprocessor to uh, release the local bus and uh, for this request these uh, two pins are used for requesting which is REQ, REQ uh, requesting the microprocessor. Uh, and uh, if the request is granted, then um, the microprocessor responds uh, through the same two pins uh, and they are represented with ground 0 and ground 1. So two uh, requests can be sent and each of the requests can be granted. So the request on GT0 will have higher priority than uh, GT1. Uh, the log pin, uh, which is an output pin and it is uh, active uh, low. It logs preference uh, of the system, so an output signal, uh, it is activated by the log prefix instruction. Log is an uh, instruction prefix. Whenever an instruction is logged, uh, this prefix is used before uh, those instructions. So it remains active until the completion of the instruction uh, prefix by log uh, is executed. So the 8086 output low on the log pin while executing an instruction prefix by log. Uh, so 8086 would send uh, 0 uh, on this log pin when uh, while the uh, instruction that is being uh, prefixed by log prefix is being executed uh, and this would prevent other bus masters from gaining control of the system bus. So it logs uh, the bus uh, for, for the entire duration of executing the instruction that is uh, being logged. And uh, so the, these are the major differences between the two microprocessor, uh, 8086 and 8088 microprocessor. They are similar, quite similar to each other, but there are some significant differences between the two as well. So the first difference uh, is that the data bus uh, is up 16 bits in the 8086 microprocessor, as we just saw. Uh, and um, all of these 16 bits are multiplexed with the address. The data bus uh, is up 8 bits in the 8088 microprocessor, only just the first 8 bits of the address and data are multiplexed. It has uh, three available clock speeds. It, uh, one is 5 MHz, 8 MHz and 10 MHz, while it has two uh, available clock speeds, uh, 5 MHz and 8 MHz. Um, it has a memory control pin, MIO pin uh, signal, while the other has, uh, 8088 has the other uh, IOM pen. So these two are just uh, the opposite. MIO, IOM. These are these uh, two pins. This pin uh, has been uh, uh, named as IOM and IOM in the 8088 mic processor, while uh, it is MIO in the 8086 mic processor. It is a bank uh, high enable or bus high enable signal, uh, while instead of this bus high enable or bank high enable a uh, signal. Uh, 8088 has the status signal which is SS0, SSO. 
uh, it can read or write either 8 bit or 16 bit word at the same time because it has 8 16 bit of data bus uh, while 8086 uh, 88 microprocessor can read only 8 bit uh, of data or 8 bit word at the same time because it has only um, 8 bit of data bus so if the 8088 microprocessor needs to access uh, 16 bit 16 bit of data uh, that amount of data uh, is accessed in two cycles separate the uh, in two uh, read uh, operation while the same data can be uh, read um, uh, in a single read operation by the 8086 microprocessor because in the 8086 microprocessor there is the 16 bit there is a 16 bit data bus that is sufficient to uh, read or uh, to write a uh, 16 bit data at uh, the same time or simultaneously thank you